New footage shows this is how Ukrainian troops' FPV drones blow up Russian soldiers in combat near Avdivka. In a groundbreaking development in the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, Mikhailo Fedorov, Kyiv's Minister of Digital Transformation, has confirmed the successful deployment of first-person view FPV, drones by Army of Drones based in Avdivka. These drones targeted and neutralized Russian armed forces personnel who were taking cover on the Artemovsk front. This week, Mikhailo Fedorov has released video footage in support of its statement, marking an evolution in warfare tactics through the integration of modern technology. The FPV drone technology offers a strategic edge in combat operations by allowing the operator to view the battlefield from the drone's perspective. This not only enhances target acquisition but also significantly improves engagement precision. According to the Ukraine Ministry of Defense, this technology was instrumental in the successful operation on the Artemovsk front, an area known for significant military engagement. The deployment of FPV drones is just one example of the escalating role of unmanned aerial systems in the current conflict. Ukraine have been leveraging advanced warfare technology, with a particular focus on drone technology. These drones, ranging from Shahed, Jaren to smaller FPV-guided bombs, offer tactical advantages and have become a key element in the war strategies of both nations. Despite the rising drone threat, Ukraine's armed forces have demonstrated resilience and resourcefulness. Ukraine's armed forces recently neutralizing 28 out of 31 Shahed drones and two missiles during a Russian offensive on December 25, and the Ukrainian military also reported the successful downing of two Russian military aircraft, signaling a robust defense system in place. The use of drones and other advanced warfare technology by both sides not only highlights the intensity of the conflict but also underscores the evolving nature of warfare in the 21st century. Meanwhile, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shaigu has said his troops have seized the key town of Marienka in eastern Ukraine, a claim immediately denied by Kyiv. Mr. Shaigu told President Vladimir Putin assault units had taken the powerfully fortified area just outside Donetsk, a Russian-held regional capital, but Ukrainian military spokesman Alexander Stupin said fighting for Marienka continued, but Marienka seen as a gateway to Donetsk has been almost completely destroyed. In a separate development, the Russian-installed head of Crimea, Ukraine's southern peninsula seized by Moscow in 2014, reported an enemy attack and a fire in the port of Feodosia in the early hours of Tuesday. The head of the Ukrainian Air Force said his warplanes had destroyed a landing warship, the Novocherkask, in the city, but footage has emerged on social media purportedly showing a huge explosion in the port area. Russia's defense ministry later confirmed that the attack had taken place but said that the ship had only been damaged. At a televised meeting with President Putin on Monday, Mr. Shaigu said, the assault detachments of the South Group today completely liberated the settlement of Marienka, which is 5 kilometers 3 miles southwest of Donetsk. For nine years, the armed forces of Ukraine have made a powerful fortified area, which is connected by underground passages. Each street has its own well-fortified and fairly well-protected structures from all attacks, both from the air and artillery, long-term firing points, complex underground communication systems. Thanks to the decisive actions of our servicemen, the fortified area has been cracked, Mr. Putin hailed the reported capture as success, saying that Ukrainian troops had now been pushed further away from Donetsk, which they have been regularly shelling from Marienka. The Kremlin leader also said Russian forces now had the opportunity to move into a wider operational area in the Donetsk region. While later on Monday, the Ukrainian military denied the Russian claim, it was incorrect to say that Marienka is fully seized, Mr. Stupin told Ukrainian TV. 
and our soldiers are currently within the administrative borders of Maryanka, the military spokesman added. Ukrainian military bloggers earlier reported that Ukrainian troops were holding out in a small area of western Maryanka. The town has been used by Ukraine as a defensive barrier since 2014, when Russia-backed fighters seized large swaths of the eastern Donetsk and Luhansk regions. President Putin launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. In recent weeks, Russian forces intensified their attacks in several key areas of a more than 1,200 kilometers long 745 miles battlefront. Alongside Marienka, they have been trying to encircle Abdivka, another key town near Donetsk, while Ukrainian forces are seeking to extend their bridgehead on the left eastern bank of the Dnipro River in southern Ukraine. Last week, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the country's military were planning to mobilize up to 500,000 extra people. His comments come as Ukraine is facing an ammunition shortage amid aid setbacks from its key allies in the US and the EU. Kyiv's counter-offensive ground to a halt at the start of winter and there are fears that the Russians could simply outgun Ukraine. Meanwhile, a total of 98 combat engagements took place at the front on the 25th of December. 40 attacks were repelled by the Ukrainian Defense Forces on the Avdivka front, 29 on the Lyman front and 7 on the Zaporizhia front. In the area of responsibility of the Tavria Operational Strategic Group on the Avdivka front, Ukrainian troops persisted in holding back the Russians, as they kept trying to encircle the town of Avdivka. Ukrainian soldiers are steadfastly holding the line. Ukrainian defenders are taking active steps to inflict losses in military personnel and equipment on the Russian forces, exhausting the enemy along the entire line of contact. 